Good day. Today we will be looking at trigonometric rules, 2D figures and 2D representations of three-dimensional contexts. Just a caution that at this point and juncture you should be familiar with your sine rule, your cos rule and your area rule. Our sum we are given is merely an instruction and given a grazing camp already fenced is in a quadrilateral shape. A, B, C, D are four vertices of quadrilateral with angle C equal to 120 degrees, A, B equal to B, C equal to 50 meters, and A, D 80 meters, and D, C 30 meters. Farmer Brown wants to connect B and D with a fence. Now this very same question they can ask as follow and it will mean exactly the same. A grazing camp is a quadrilateral shape. A grazing camp is in a quadrilateral shape. Stating that it is a camp means it is already cordoned off with fence. They don't have to say it's already fenced. They can leave that part out. They can say a grazing camp, meaning it's already encamped. Other things they can do is they can say straight from here, they can say calculate the size of A, B, C, D. My question to you. Do you understand when they ask the size? I hope you understand that we're talking about the area. In this instance, guidance is given and three questions are asked. Firstly, they ask me to make a sketch of the camp and calculate how much wire Farmer Brown needs for this fence. Now, I added in BD there, but if I look at the information, even without BD, the question states here for this fence. He wants to put the fence, connect B and D with a fence. So from there I should know that they are speaking about BD. Language is part of our integral lives and we need to know and understand what it means. Then it says calculate the size of A and then they say prove that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, how do you draw a sketch of a quadrilateral? They tell me it's a quadrilateral, it can be any shape that has four sides. It does not have to be specific as long as it has four sides. It does not matter, it's immaterial. So, they asked me that the one side is equal to another side which is as a common point B. So I've got A, B, and C on common grounds. And that one was the 50. A, B, and B, C is the same length. Then it tells me angle C has an angle of 120 degrees. And then I've got A, D equal to 80 and I have CD given as 30. Now remember this is a sketch, it's a rough drawing of a representation of what could potentially be. But even if you had drawn it as a rectangle or as a trapezium, it does not matter, it's a sketch. What you need to know 
which we need to discern that you need this length of PD using the information that you have to calculate the length of PD. So I redraw that neatly and I give you the sketch. A, B and B, C being 50. Same link, more or less. Angle C must be 120, so I say more than 90. Should be fine as an obtuse angle. And then 30, 30 meters that way. And then that one will be 80 meters. I know B and D must be connected and I must calculate the length of B, D. Apologies for having the answer already. So, when we calculate this information, how will we go about to ensure that we get that information? Sign rule, I can't use because I don't have another angle. But I can use the cos rule. Cos rule says the side squared plus this side squared minus 2 of that times that times the cos of this inclusive angle will give me the square on that side. So, find the answer BD is equal to the square root of 50 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 into 15 to 30 cos of 120 degrees. Answer 70 meters. Now here you could do reduction 90 plus 30 180 minus 60 and calculate without the use of a calculator but the answer comes to 70 meters. The moment that I calculated it I say that is 70. Now I've got three sides I want to know the size of that angle A. I manipulate the cos formula and say that angle A is equal to shift cos of 50 squared plus 80 squared minus 70 squared over 2 into 50 into 80. This gives me an answer of 60 degrees. But remember in a triangle it could be 180 degrees minus 60 also but why would this one not be 120 degrees think about it quickly angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees if this angle is 120 then it means this angle must be greater than 120 because the angle opposite the side that is longest must be bigger than the other angle. So this one can only be 60 degrees. So in short or in abbreviated terms, we can say 70 is not the longest side in triangle ABD. The last question asked us to calculate and stipulate that This quadrilateral is a cyclic quad. We've seen that two angles opposite each other adds up to 180 degrees. And I know that opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So here yeah, I can conclude. Because the opposite angles are supplementary, meaning adding up to 180, thus ABCD is a cyclic quad. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. If you liked it, tell your friends. But if you loved it, please share your experience with everyone. Have a good day. Friends.